Hallelujah, buona sifiwe. So I don't even know where I am, but I'm in school somewhere. I found a place just to share something with you guys that the Lord is saying to my heart since morning, and I don't want us to miss it. I hope it's not too noisy around me and that you can hear me. So um, I am Apostle Catholic again, Yoganga. Just um, needed to tell you something about the wells of revival and what God was God is saying to me about the wells of revival. So um, the Lord this morning has just been encouraging my heart, even as the witches are rising, as occult is rising, as they are the weirdest kind of attacks. By the way, we are just having a discussion with my ministry team on WhatsApp about the weird dreams we are having, even the children, and funny kinds of attacks, you know, funny sicknesses and exhaustion we can't even explain and all that. But we have said that we're not going to relent. We're not going to hold back. We're not going to relent. We're going all the way. This revival must break out completely. So the Lord was encouraging me this morning, exhortation as we call it, and he said to me that revival is like when you're digging a well. And that's why it's called wells, wells of revival. It's like when you're digging a well or when you're digging a borehole. So basically you dig, 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 then you come across rock and you keep going and keep going and keep going and you can go many, many feet down and it looks like there's nothing. And then one day you dug and dug and dug and it's very pricey of course that's why we count the cost and then finally you get to this place and maybe there's a bit of a spring and a bit of wetness and you're like yay we're getting to the water and that's like when revival begins to kind of show up you know like when we had the feathers the angel feathers fall and the dust fall in the sanctuary that is like when you begin to find a bit of a spring then the next day again as you're digging you um find rock, find dry things, nothing's going on, maybe a really, really hard part of rock, and you're thinking, I thought we saw something the other day. I thought there was something. I thought, I thought we were just about to hit water. And then, you know, so if you allow yourself to get discouraged and get caught up in, in missing that you're going deeper and deeper and deeper, and you must be close somehow by faith and you know it, then if you allow that, then you're gonna miss even the journey to revival. So then eventually what happens, it's just one day. The Lord was telling me it's one day because he's a God of sudden, you know, even the way we say suddenly I touch from heaven, you know, suddenly he's a God of suddenly. I don't know if you've ever had a pain, a pain that has disturbed you, a pain that has troubled you, a pain that has really, really, you know, hurt you and you struggle with for a long time. I had that kind of a problem on Tuesday morning. I'd had so much pain. And then the Lord touched me suddenly. And when he touched me suddenly, it was so weird. I'm like, what's happened? So it's going to be a God of suddenly. So you dig and dig and dig. You've done for a while. And just when you're thinking, maybe there's nothing. Maybe there's no water table. Maybe this is getting too costly. Maybe the budget is too high. Maybe I wasn't the one who was supposed to get this. Maybe it was a, a venture in, you know, futility. Then suddenly we will have a gush of water from the ground that is springing out that will amaze us. And the beauty with wells, when you dig wells, is that they can last for many generations. Um, some of you drink from wells in your shags that have been there through many hundreds of generations, you know? So you find, you know, you've had, you don't even know who quite dug it. You know, you just hear that somebody along the way dug it, but you don't know who it is. So keep pressing in, keep digging, keep pressing in revival is heavy the reason why it hurts by the way today my whole back was on fire my legs were hurting so badly even waking up in the morning was difficult is because digging a well is not easy there's gonna be resistance there's gonna be attacks and one of the things you need to be aware of is that the greater the resistance the higher the glory the other thing is that every single time you find satan fighting in a major way you always know you're on to Thank you, Jesus. It's back. Sorry, there was a bit of a disruption there. One of the signs of revival is an economy begins to 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 to, to just bust into whatever. Um, there's a lot of great performance of the economy. Um, the soil normally gets really amazing and uh, farmers really, really benefit. And this year, the Lord has also kept on releasing a prophecy that we should plant, we should get back into agriculture and God's going to really do an amazing thing. Amen. I have to get off. I just wanted to encourage you. Keep pressing in. We are almost there. Keep pressing in. Keep pressing in. Keep pressing in. Amen. God bless you.